I'm uh, Jeremy Way, Chief Executive of the Green Power Education Trust, which is a registered, a registered charity with the objective to advance education in the subjects of sustainable engineering to young people. Silverline have um, helped us to launch the new kit car, which is um, being released in September. So schools will be able to buy a kit car to enter the uh, secondary school category. And every kit car will also be given away with a free Silverline toolkit, um, which will just really help to kickstart schools, get them going. Um, so at Green Power we've got three different categories. Um, the first is for 9 to 11 years old, so primary schools, and they must use a standard kit car which we call a goblin car that we supply to them and they just use basic hand tools to build that up and then add their own bodywork to it, so that's the sort of creative bit. Um, those cars are geared to 15 miles an hour and they can't change anything on the car other than the bodywork, so everyone starts on a very level playing field. And they do things like slaloms, um, driving tests, so it's about maximum driver participation and they can use up to 13 drives at one of our race days which are held all over the UK. Um, we then go on to our 11 to 16 year old category, so secondary schools, youth groups, scout groups, things like that. And they can either use the Silverline kit car launching in September or um, they can design and build a car from scratch. But Whichever route they take, they have to comply with our regulations and they start with the same motor and batteries um, and they compete in a four hour endurance race to see how far you can go on three pairs of standard batteries that we supply. So it's about using as little power as possible and the winning car last week at a race at Rockingham Motor Speedway averaged 33 miles an hour for four hours. Um, including uh, four driver changes, so pretty impressive average speed and used just 25 pence worth of electricity in doing so, so really is the sort of future of, of motoring. Um, then we go on to our IET Formula 24 Plus category for 16 to 25 year olds, um, so that covers colleges, universities and uh, company apprenticeship schemes, graduate programmes, things like that. We've actually got a car here today from Jaguar Land Rover who have 60 graduates involved on their programme but designing and building their car. Um, the regulations are very similar to the secondary school category um, but they're shorter races, 90 minute races with two pairs of batteries so they effectively have more battery capacity available and can therefore go a bit faster. And um, we have the winning car from that category last week here as well and that averaged uh, a record-breaking 45 miles an hour for one lap of the circuit, so really impressive. They all really enjoy it, but um, over 90% of the children taking part at secondary school level want to go on to become engineers, so uh, our objective to inspire young people into engineering really is working on that level. Um, but increasingly, and particularly at primary school, the importance of the project in developing teamwork, uh, communication skills, um, and other soft skills has, has really been sort of increasingly brought home to us sort of how valuable it can be. We have a patron, Lord March, who owns the Goodwood Estate and runs this event, the Goodwood Festival of Speed. So we've always had a very close association with him um, and Goodwood, particularly as we're based just five miles away. So we were invited to have a stand here this year, which is fantastic. Um, it began in 1999, started by an a organisation called Sussex Enterprise. Um, and they wanted more young engineers going into companies in Sussex um, but it was very quickly realised that there was demand for this nationwide and so it grew to uh, cover schools all over the UK. There's over 500 taking part annually now each year all over the UK designing and building cars for all three of our categories. It's um, really word of mouth spreads from school to school and uh, schools can get involved that way. Um, so start designing and building their car or using a kit car, depending on which level they're doing. And other ways people can get involved is volunteering at events, as I said, or volunteering to help schools, or supporting Green Power nationally um, through, through sponsorship. So lots of different ways.